right now I'm, I'm a staff official of the um, of the uh, parliamentary services of a small Austrian state parliament in Salzburg state of Salzburg um, and um, the reason why we know each other and uh, why we talk today is because we used your method of wisdom councils um, within a special committee inside this parliament um, to bring about democracy reform and by doing so came to some results that are now in a political discussion and become real more and more step by step. How, how do they become real? Can you give an example? One of the suggestions uh, we got out of the Wisdom Council, for example, was, because it was very surprising for me, um, that a group of, of normal people like you and me, non-experts, could uh, come about with such, a, such an idea, was to um, measure uh, wealth and uh, economic success of a constituency not by uh, um, GDP or GRP in that case, um, but by some index of happiness. And this is one of the things uh, we are going to do in Salzburg. We will introduce, um, if, the, um, if the legislation passes, um, we will introduce um, kind of a, of a happiness index uh, which is currently developed uh, in one of our universities um, and um, every year or every two years um, have this index uh, brought into the house and being discussed uh, like the normal annual or biannual budget. <clears throat> nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> really. And that came out of the Wisdom Council? That came out of the Wisdom Council. <laughs> That's wonderful. I didn't know about that. And as you as you said, as you mentioned before, Ed, um, if a politician comes up with an issue, um, the first the first thing that happens is that everybody else within the political system uses the issue for positioning. So they are either for or against the whole thing, but nobody seems to have real interest in bringing the change about, really. Huh. And if they this was was my experience if they see that um there is the population behind this then the necessity of really bringing it about is not in question anymore there is no no bargaining no positioning there is just um, politics that are really eager to bring the change about and so i think that the change that is really necessary can only come out of the population uh, like I, I heard one time uh, they, they did a national kind of wisdom council in Austria where they, they uh, it was kept sort of secret. They didn't really publicize it much, but they did it within the Department of Life, I think. Yes. And, and the issue was, why are we subsidizing these products that nobody actually wants? You know, yes. why would we do that? <laughs> and no politician could even say that. Uh, <laughs> that's true <laughs> so I mean it, they were everybody was so beholden to the special interests so they put the issue on the table and they sort of facilitate the elected officials and the and the uh, experts to talk thoughtfully for once about these important really important issues I mean they can come up with the option that is best rather than that is most acceptable and they and they can um, start an ongoing conversation where that involves more than just policy yes so um, what, what I understand from what you're saying is that um, it that expert wisdom should not be uh, ignored or, or you don't need the power of a politicians to bring change about but because but what you say is there is a third element that is normally missing within the political process and this is the as you as you called it the heartfelt opinion of the people what do you think this can change 
Well, I think it can change everything because, um, because fundamentally, even if they don't come up with anything, yes. even if they don't come up with an answer, which I think they will come up with an answer, with, with a, a strategy. But what we're doing now is we are coming back to the, the natural hierarchy of the democracy, which is where we the people, that's sort of an American term, we the people are in, really in charge. And then below that is the Constitution, and below that is the elected officials and the branches of government. And so just this, and, and the key ingredient in that is the caliber of the conversation. Okay. In other words, for there to be this thoughtful, we the people direction to society, for that to exist, it can't happen in the normal arguing kind of way. It can't happen in, in an agree-disagree way. It has to happen in this heartfelt, uh, thoughtful, creative way where we're, where we're facing what seems impossible to affect and yet we're making headway and, and getting somewhere and, we're, and we're, we can tell the story of how, how much progress we're making and feel excited about it. So, uh, so t to me, the, the nature of the Wisdom Council, if it's ongoing, and if we take real care in how the group talks and how the whole system talks, then we're creating a we the people, which is something close to true democracy, where we the people are really in charge and the elected officials now can do the support, the will of the people. 